name is Dana, and I'm uh, an art collector and an art lover. And today, uh, Bobby Walker of Walker Fine Art is here. Uh, she has a phenomenal gallery that really speaks to me because of the diversity in which she carries and the artists who are really you know, pushing what we think of as traditional art with the combination of several different you know, materials and mediums uh, to really create dynamic pieces. So I now have three wonderful pieces of art from her gallery. And the one that we're really talking about today is this one by Cara. And you know, some of the things that are really important to me are really the, you know, the beautiful colors in nature. It's something that I'm particularly drawn to. Uh, and I think this piece too is an amazing example of really what artists are doing. It's, um, there's an aluminum panel and it has this beautiful, very delicate botanical scene. And what I've come to understand about Cara is that she has a land up in upstate New York and these are beautiful plants that really are her inspiration that she uh, does you know, prints off of. And so she's taken this very delicate beautiful aspect of nature, but yet she's put it on a very contemporary medium. And then there are these bits and pieces of spray paint that, again, have this very different feel to it, and yet its ability to really become part of the big piece and really be in harmony. So the other thing when I saw this, because all of her pieces are gorgeous, I, I knew I needed to see it, and I called Bobby. <laughs> And I knew where I wanted to put it because, as you can see, uh, it really harmonizes with this niche that I have in my house uh, that's filled with a lot of beautiful art glass along with two beautiful uh, fabric bowls that my mother has designed. And you know, my, my house was really pulled together as an oasis to show off my art. I was fortunate enough to build this home and one of the driving components of it was creating spaces that were really perfect for my current collection and that really allowed me to continue to collect art and celebrate it and surround myself with it. Uh, I grew up in a family that really appreciated art, that collected art, uh, and that really made it a part of their life. Um, and you know the phenomenal people that you meet and their stories and just the the peacefulness and the beauty that it it brings into the world uh, i you know i'm constantly getting the feedback from people that come to my home hi dana this is so much fun to be able to do this with you i'm so thrilled that you added spring mandala to your collection and I just wanted to explain a little bit more about the painting and the series it comes from. Uh, so Spring Mandala is one of four mandala paintings that each express uh, the foliage and animals and life cycle of the four seasons up here in the Western Catskills, where I work and live and get a lot of the inspiration for my work. Um, the painting is on an aluminum panel and I use aluminum because as a surface, it creates sort of a slight sheen. And so the painting will change with the time of day and light. I'm sure you've been experiencing that. And um, my painting technique is mix of traditional oil painting and silkscreen printing. So when I go out hiking and looking for inspiration, I'll collect a lot of foliage and do sketches and take photographs. And so silkscreen is just a very simple um, one screen print and you create it with a negative positive and then you pull your ink through the screen and um, it creates the image in the positive, uh, the opposite of a stencil which creates in the negative. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit more about that painting. Uh, there's a lot of ferns and foliage because it's spring, which we love up here because it's the beginning of everything coming to life. And um, I hope you enjoy the painting for many years to come. <laughs>